Hey, Daddy. It's Patty. Can you see these texts? Hey there, sweetie. Yeah, I can see your text. Did your mom finally teach you how to send texts on your phone? Yeah, but it's actually super easy. You just press the letters and they show up. Hmm, is it easy or are you really just a smart cookie? I really think it's the latter. But yeah, if you ever need anything while you're with your mom, you could just let me know, okay? Okay, I can do that, Dad. By the way, Mommy told me that you have a business trip next week, right? But you know that Mom is pregnant and is having a baby soon, right? Don't you think it's mean to leave us all alone? You're right. It is mean. I really wish that I didn't have to go, but my work is telling me to. I should be back home before your mom even has the baby though. So while I'm away, you're going to have to do your best to be there for your mom. Of course! Since it's summer break now, I'll be able to help mom with whatever she needs. I have to learn how to be a big sister after all. You really are something else. Do you know that, Patty? Honestly, how did I get such a clever daughter? You just make sure that you're not working too hard, okay? After all, your grandma should be helping out too while I'm gone, so you don't have to do it all by yourself. Wait a second, grandma's going to come over while you're away? Yeah, I told her that I was leaving and that I'd like it if she could check in on you. Oh, well can grandma even cook? Of course she knows how to cook, although between me and you, I prefer your mom's cooking. I also really like how mom cooks. I hope that mommy feels better soon after having her baby. I'm sure that she will. We just have to wait a bit more for her to have the baby first. How is your mom doing today, by the way? Well, she showed me how to message people on my phone and all that, but now she's just lying in bed reading a book. Oh, okay. Well, she does seem like she's feeling okay, right? Yeah, I just asked her and she said that she's feeling fine. Oh, okay. Well, that is good to hear at least. Maybe just send me some updates on how she's doing, okay? I can do that for you, Dad. By the way, have you two already eaten lunch today? We're going to sit down to eat lunch right now. We're going to eat the lunch that you made us before going to work. Okay, well it may be hot since I left it in the oven. Just be careful in taking it out, or go ask your mom to get it. I'm a big girl, Daddy. I think I know how to do it by myself. But you have a good day at work. Hey, Mom. I just wanted to make sure that you know to go to the house tomorrow. Of course I know to do that. You think I'd forget about taking care of my daughter-in-law and granddaughter? And just why are you reminding me so often anyways, huh? Well, it's just that you kind of have a tendency to forget things like this now and then. I mean, remember when Patty was born? You were always on vacation when that happened. Oh, was I really? Oh, I must have forgotten all about that. <laughs> well, that's exactly the point that I'm trying to make. But at least when that happened, I was in town. But anyways, this pregnancy has been really tough. So just try and take care of Lucy well, okay? And you're going to be away on this business for five days? Uh, do I understand that right? Ugh. This is just going to be so much work for me. You know how much I dislike getting up early, but I'll have to do it to check in on everyone. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but I really, really appreciate your help, Mom. Well, the least you could do is give me a per diem. Sorry, you want a per dime? As in, you want me to pay for the days that you're going to the house? I mean, you are taking up a lot of my time by asking me to do this, you know. Do you expect your mother to do work for free? Mom, 
I don't know what to say, except that I thought you were just helping us as family. I mean, don't we already do a lot for you? I already send you money every month. And you know that if you need help, you can just ask me, right? Yes, you always say that I can always go to you for help, but I'm just saying that my help isn't free. And since I'm going to be putting all this effort into taking care of your family, the least you could do is pay me something. Mom, do you remember the time that you really messed up your back? Didn't Lucy drive you back and forth from the hospital for all your physical therapy appointments? Did we ask you to pay us money for that? No, but that's my point exactly. You never even asked me to pay you for that. Lucy was just doing all of that for free. It's not about doing it for free or not. We weren't putting a price on it at all. Well, that's the same thing as making it free. So, anyways, are you going to pay me or not? Mom, please. You know that Lucy doesn't have her parents anymore. You really are the only family we can count on. Don't you want to help your daughter-in-law? I never said anything about being family or not being family. All I'm saying is that if you want me to give you my time and energy, then the least you could do is compensate me for it. You know what they say, don't you? Time is money, Gerald. Okay, okay, I get it. I can pay for the time days that you go to check on them. Excellent. In that case, I have no problem at all going to check on your little family. Please do. I really want you to take care of Lucy. The doctors were a bit concerned after her last checkup. I just want her to be able to get as much rest as she needs to feel comfortable. Oh my, well that sounds like quite the predicament for your poor wife. It really is, so please just help her out with the cleaning, the shopping, the laundry, all of that. It's only a little longer before she's due to give birth, so if Lucy says she feels bad, maybe you can just take her to the hospital. And please try to send updates about how she's feeling, okay? Yeah, 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 I get it. You don't have to worry about me. You just focus on your work, got it? You know, I still can't believe that you're both in your late 30s and you really decided to have another child. Uh, I don't know how much money you really have. But if you're both this rich, then I'm just not sure why I haven't seen any of this money for myself. I think that we're already giving you plenty of money every month. Are you really? Even after I worked so hard to put you through college? Do you have any idea how expensive that was for me? You really have not shown me enough gratitude for all that I've done for you, and then your father was taken away from us? You have no idea how lonely it's been since you moved out, either. I just wish that you would do more for me. Okay, I understand, Mom. But right now, I'm away on a business trip, so we'll just have to get through this first. Oh, don't worry about that. As long as you're paying me, I'll be sure to take care of Lucy and Patty. You just focus on work and forget all about us, okay? Daddy, are you there? I really want to talk to you. Oh, hey there, Patty. Is everything okay? Have you all already eaten lunch for the day? Did your grandma make you something tasty to eat? Daddy, Mo mommy won't move. She got up to go to the bathroom. And then she said that her stomach was hurting and she fell on the ground. I'm really scared. Wait, what? Your mom fell? Is she okay? Where is your grandma? She's at the casino. She said it was senior day there and that she could play for less money. But she's not at home and I don't know what to do. Please, Daddy, you have to do something to help us. I think Mom might be really sick. Okay, sweetie. I understand. I'm going to call an ambulance to the house. You just wait there. I'm so sorry, Daddy. You told me that it was my job to look after Mommy and I couldn't do anything at all. She's just on the floor. She's not moving at all and she's really, really sweaty. What are we going to do if she doesn't wake up? I just called an ambulance to the house, okay? Can you please unlock the front door for them? I, I can do that. Okay, it'll all be okay. The paramedics are good people and they'll help mom. I did it, 
Dad. I made sure to unlock and open the door for them. Okay, then. When you hear them knock on the door, ask who it is. And if they say they're here to help, let them in. And then I want you to go with your mom to the hospital. Tell them that your dad will meet you there. Okay, Daddy, I can do that. Everything is going to be okay, Patty. Just hold your mom's hand, talk to her, and tell her she'll be all right. Okay, I'll do that too. I'm sorry that I couldn't stop this from happening, though. I tried to be there and help mom with everything around the house, but it still wasn't enough. None of this is your fault, okay? You didn't do anything wrong at all, sweetie. In fact, you did such a good job just by texting me about this. You've already done so much to help your mom. Just please come home really quickly, Daddy. I'm really, really scared. I'll be home soon, I promise. Just hang on a little longer. I know that you're scared, but it'll be okay. And text me if you need anything else, okay? The ambulance, the paramedics should be there soon. Just hang on for mom, okay? Okay, Daddy. I promise I'll do my best. Gerald, are you there? I have some news that I have to tell you. I just got to your house and neither Lucy nor Patty are here right now. Since they both seem to be out doing something, can I just go back home now? Oh, and one more thing is that one of those two left the door unlocked when they left the house. Just what are you teaching your daughter about safety? Yeah, Mom, how about you lock up the front door and go home, please? Oh, really? You sure that's okay? Well, in that case, I suppose that I'll just turn around and go home then. But, you know, if Lucy is healthy enough to get out of the house and run these errands all by herself, then I really don't understand why I was going to your place at all. And if you're just going to be coming home in a couple of days anyway, do I really have to come back here before then? I just really don't see the point if your wife is already feeling so much better now. Actually, Mom, if you really want to know, Lucy and Patty are both at the hospital at the moment. You should know that Lucy passed out at home. Wait, what do you mean Lucy passed out at home? Uh, I don't get what you mean by that. I mean that my wife passed out and had to be taken to the hospital while you were out playing games at the casino. I heard that it was a senior day yesterday at the casino. So tell me, Mom, did you win big there? Because it was my understanding that you were supposed to be at home taking care of my wife and kid. You promised me, Mom. How could you do this to your own family? Is this what you wanted me to pay for? So that you can abandon my wife and kid while you go out gambling? Now hold on just a second there, Gerald. The last time that I was over at your house, Lucy was doing just fine. Uh, I thought that it would be okay if I just skipped one day of going to check in on them. That's how well she was doing. I asked you to check in at my house every day, right? And that's what you agreed on as well. I even agreed to pay you for your time. Not only that, but I asked you to go and check in on them in the morning, didn't I? But now I understand that you were only arriving there just now this whole time. And on top of all of that, Patty told me that all you would normally do is watch TV and order takeout. She told me that you never did any work around the house. No cleaning, no cooking, no laundry, nothing. Well, it's not like there was anything for me to do in the first place. After all, Patty said that she would take care of everything. Excuse me? Is that really all you have to say for yourself? Patty is only in the third grade, Mom. So what? You're saying that a girl her age can't take care of herself? She told me that she could help and I wanted to give her more responsibility. You're the adult, Mom. Even if Patty said she wanted to do it all herself, you should have at very least supervised her. If not, did most of the work yourself. Patty would do anything for her mother, and I think that you just took advantage of that and her. I didn't do anything to her at all, and besides, this is her fault too, you know. 
If her mom was really feeling bad, then she should have told me sooner. If I had known, then I wouldn't have gone to the casino in the first place. It was only when Lucy stood up to use the washroom that she noticed something was wrong before she fell over. The whole thing happened in a matter of minutes, but that was still the time that you should have been at home like you promised me. But it's not like I wasn't home at all. You're making it sound like I didn't even go in the first place. I really think that you're overreacting. You mean, you can't even admit that you screwed up. Do you have any idea how scared Patty was having to be there with her mom and all by herself when Lucy fell? She's only in the third grade, and not only did she have to witness her pregnant mother collapse on the floor and pass out, but she had to wait there until the paramedics arrived. Do you really not feel bad for what you've done or what you put Patty through at all? I just don't understand why you're mad at me for any of this. It's not like I was the one that caused Lucy to pass out. You're just mad at me because you thought that you could order me around and I wasn't listening to what you were barking at me to do. All I did was miss one little day that I was supposed to be there, so I really don't get why you're trying to pin all of this on me. No, you're right, Mom. It's not all your fault. I'm partially to blame for everything, thinking that I can trust you with something like this. I told you that Lucy was feeling really bad and that it was a delicate situation for her, but you didn't think about her or Patty. You were only thinking about yourself. But you know what? After this, I don't think I can even consider you family anymore. I never want anything to do with you again. Wait. What? What is that supposed to mean? How can you say that you don't want anything to do with your own mother ever again? I mean that I'm cutting you out of my life, Mom. I won't be sending you any more money from here on out either. You're nobody to me. Do you understand that? No. Oh, you can't do this to me. This isn't fair. Not after all that I've done for you. If you're going to cut me out of your life, then you need to pay me back for every last cent that I've ever spent on you. Look, Mom, I am really happy that I was able to go to college and be taken care of as well when I was little. But the fact of the matter is that Dad was the only one who worked. And I think I've done more than paid you back already for all that you've done for me. You little ingrate, how dare you talk to your own mother like this? Do you think that you can do this to me? Of course I do, and I can tell you now that I don't want or need a mother that isn't going to take care of my family as if it was her own, which it is. I've put up with your attitude for long enough, and I'm afraid I just can't take it anymore. I thought that I could count on you because we were family, but you clearly seem to see things in a different light from me. Please, Gerald, oh, calm down. Can't we just talk about this? I am calm, and I've thought this through. There's nothing more to talk about. You put my wife and daughter in danger. That's the end of it. But I was only gone for one measly day. It isn't my fault that that one day just happened to be the day that something would happen to Lucy. And besides, Patty was there and able to take care of everything. Yes, Patty was there and was very brave in handling it all. But the fact is that you should have been there, and you promised me that you would be. You demanded money for all of this work. I was asking of you, and you didn't fulfill your part of the bargain. And for that, I'm never going to forgive you. Okay, okay, I get it. I shouldn't have done what I did. Just please don't cut me out of your life, son. You know that you're the only family that I have left, right? You wouldn't leave me all alone, would you? And so now, you finally want to admit that you've done something wrong. It's just sad, Mom. I know that you aren't really sorry. Of course I am. I am terribly sorry. Please, I promise that here on out, I really will be here for you all from here on out. Uh, I know how busy things are going to get with a second child on the way. So please, if you forgive me and let me stay in your life, I promise to be there and help all that I can. No. We won't be needing any of your help. I'll be there for my wife. Thank you very much. You've already done more than enough. Please don't be like this. I mean, what about now? Your wife is in the hospital, so who's going to take care of little Patty? She's still on summer break and you have work. She's going to need someone to look after her. 
You see, you still need me. I don't need you at all. And if I ever need anyone to look after my daughter, I'll go to someone who I know that I can trust in the first place. Son, please, I'm your mother. You know that you can trust me, right? I can after this. Besides, Patty is with one of Lucy's co-workers right now. So as you can see, we have plenty more options than you. And I'll be taking paternity leave after we have our second child anyways, so I'll be around for a bit as well. No, goodbye, Mom. I never want to see you again. Please don't do this to me, son. I'm so, so sorry for everything. I should have never done what I did. You have to believe me. I'm sorry for everything, Gerald. Please don't leave me. My mom kept blowing up my phone with messages and calls after that, but I just ignored them all and not responding to a single one. Instead, I was getting things ready to move into my new place. While Lucy was recovering at the hospital and waiting to go into labor, I was doing my best to move into our new home as quickly as possible. I heard that without the money that I was sending her, that mom quickly had to sell her house and move into a smaller apartment in order to live on the pension checks that she was getting. I would have thought that keeping the family home would have been the better choice, financially speaking, but that wasn't at all what my mom was thinking. She had accumulated quite a bit of debt through her gambling and wasn't able to pay it back without my help. That's why she ended up selling the house. I have no idea how my mom is doing, but that's why I'm glad I cut her off before I could send any more money to enable her bad habits. The day after I finished moving all our furniture, I got a call from the hospital that Lucy was going into labor and rushed to the hospital with Patty. We were able to gather as a family and support my wife as she gave birth to our second child. Patty was talking the whole time on the way to the hospital about how excited she was to have a big sister. Since then, we moved into our new place and we're all adjusting to having a new member of the family. I couldn't be more proud of both my wife and daughter for all that they've been through. For Patty, especially, I told her how amazing and brave she was after staying calm after what happened to her mom. I also told her that I knew she was going to be an amazing big sister. Hey sweetie, don't forget that the real estate agent is coming around tomorrow and bringing some potential buyers. So we need to make sure that everything is in order and looking as perfect as possible to try and entice someone to put an offer in on the house. I've cleaned the living room and most of the kitchen, but I'll need help when you get back from work just to finish off the rest of the house so that everything's ready for tomorrow. Oh, and on your way back from work, could you pick me up some eggs and some chocolate chips? I'm going to make some cookies to try and get the house to smell as great as possible. Oh, that viewing's tomorrow? Yeah, don't tell me you forgot about it. Um... Oh, Alan. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not until tomorrow, so we'll have plenty of time to get everything ready. Are you able to go to the shop for me, by the way? I guess. Great. If I think of anything else, then I'll message you. Hang on. It was just a few small things. Now you want me to get, like, the whole week's groceries? It's not that big of a deal. Besides, I said if I thought of anything else, I'd let you know. I'm not going to suddenly ask you to buy a month's worth of groceries. We don't have time for that, and I really can't be bothered to try and figure out what we have in the cupboards. We can just order something in for tonight. No way! This is just too much pressure. I don't know what you want or anything like that. If you want something from the shop, you'll have to go yourself. What? You literally just said that you'd go for me. Why have you changed your mind now? I'm way too stressed for this. I don't have time to think about going to the shops or stupid realtors or anything. I'm working really hard, so you'll just have to do everything by yourself. Got it? Alan, I really can't get the house in order for the realtor all by myself. I really need your help here. We've been wanting to sell the house for ages now, and this is finally our chance to do so. But we need to make it look as good as possible to get the best possible price for it. And I can't do that all by myself. Fine. I'll be back after work. But you'll have to go to the shop yourself. I'm too tired to go shopping for anything after work. Fine, I'll go to the shops. Just make sure you get back ASAP after you finish work. Uh-huh. Thank you. Look, I know this is a lot of effort and quite a stressful time, but once we sell the house and are able to buy the new one we've been looking at, then it will all be worth it in the end. 
If you say so. Anyway, I've got to work now. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Alan, where are you? You were supposed to finish work ages ago. How come you're not back yet? We still have so many things to do before the real estate agent and the prospective buyers come to look around. I really need you here to help out. Oh yeah, about that. I decided that I didn't really feel like cleaning and tidying everything this evening, especially considering I had to go to work, so I've decided not to come home tonight. What? Please tell me you're joking. We've got so much to do still. No, I'm not joking. I'm not coming home tonight. Well, where are you then? I'm just at my mom's house. Seriously? Yeah, oh, and she totally agrees with me, by the way. She thinks that it's kind of rude of you to demand that I help out with all the cleaning and stuff at home when I've been at work all day. She said that considering you're the wife, that you should be the one to cook and clean and do all of the other chores. I shouldn't have to do women's work, to be honest. Women's work? What on earth are you on about? Taking care of a house is not women's work. If two people live in it, like we do, then it's up to them both to keep it clean and tidy and looking nice. It's not even the fact that we're trying to sell the house. If you don't want to live in a pigsty, then both people in the couple should take responsibility for the house and make sure it's all clean and tidy no matter what the occasion is. And it's not even like you're the only one who works. I'd understand and take a bit more responsibility if I was a stay-at-home wife who had time to clean and stuff during the day, but the fact of the matter is I have a job too. I was only free today because I knew that the realtor was coming tomorrow, so I took the day off from work to sort things out. Well, whatever. I'm tired and stressed and all I want to do is have a nice, relaxing evening after work. I knew that if I came home, then I wouldn't be able to do that as you just keep nagging me over and over again to help. Seriously? But we need to do this together, Alan. Look, I'm done talking about this. I'm staying at my mom's tonight. That was sort of begging me to come back. It's so annoying, and I really can't be bothered to deal with your whining. It just makes you look so pathetic. Fine, then. And don't worry. I wasn't going to beg you for anything. Not anymore. I can clearly see what you think of me and that you're not going to help me anyway. Huh? What do you mean you're not going to...